Hey guys, welcome to Saturday Night Live. Oh man, Jason, see the Mansky, Chad, Penny, Jack, Super K, Winchester, Mick, Chad K, how you guys doing? How is everybody tonight? Penny, did I say Penny? Hi Penny. Sorry if I missed you, Penny. Bunzo. Not Air Force One. Ah, I like that movie. Movie. Very good. I hope you all are having a fantastic evening tonight. Hello, Christine. Rusty, Rusty, how are you? Get everybody in here. Hey, yo. What's up, Triple E? What's going on, man? BJ. What is up, buddy? Nick, how's it going? Very cool. Lou, what's up, buddy? Peter's here. Cauldron, how's it going? Looking for a new knife. Any suggestions? Oh, man. You're about to get bombarded, Jack. <laughs> Cold Floofy Gamer, what is up? Zeb, what's happening, buddy? Oh, my goodness. Mark, how's it going? <laughs> I don't know. I know some of you were there, but you, you guys see me on Instagram earlier this afternoon getting things set up for tonight, jamming to my music and having fun. <laughs> that was pretty good. From Sparks, Nevada. Right on. Did you go riding? Right on, Cauldron. Hey, Tim, how you doing? Good evening. Yes, good evening. We are, oh my goodness, man. It has been raining, raining, raining hard today. Holy cow. My goodness. Oh, cool. Right on, Tim. Hey, Tim, how's it going? Glad to have you here, buddy. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. A little bit late over there in Florida, isn't it? <laughs> KB, what's happening? Dylan, hello, sir. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see everyone. Man, no, you're not late. Menace, Menace, how are you? You're never late. Nobody is ever late showing up here. Almost, man. We're getting there. So, yeah, that was kind of funny. I was talking to uh, Nelly earlier today, and I said, I was like, man, t tomorrow, Sunday, the 14th, is my two-year anniversary on YouTube, which is crazy to think about but it is and I kind of had a little I kind of had a little goal in the back of my mind you know to hit to hit 3,000 subscribers by two years you know but I mean I hadn't really said anything or you know it's just just a personal little goal and um next thing I know oh <laughs> dang thanks Nick Thank you very much. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot of mulch. That is a lot of mulch. <laughs> but next thing I know, it was, I don't know, a half hour later or so. I see all, I see Zach, and then I see Nick, and then I see Christine. And everybody's posting these about get JB to 3K and stuff. And I'm like, hmm. Hey, Talbert, how are you? Thank you, KB. Thank you all very much. And I went in. She was in her craft room right next door after I was up here, you know, jamming around and talking to you guys on Instagram. And I'm like, what did you do? And she, of course, is like, what? So, yeah, she instigated something. But hello, Ronald. Good to have you. Very good to have you. Adam, NorCal, how are you guys? Awesome, guys. Zach. Zach, I still got my eyes on you, Zach. I'm watching you. 
Hello, Stuart. Glad you could stop by, my friend. James, hello. I'm glad you're here, man. Glad you're here. Glad you could make it. I know it's kind of late for a lot of people, but... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my no. <laughs> Yikes. You had to chase him through the uh, through the brush? Oh, my goodness. Hey, Brewhand. Yeah, two years. I cannot believe it. Hey, Stud Fishing, what's up, buddy? Yep, that's pretty crazy. But so for those of you for those of you that were blasting it through Instagram and stuff, thank you very much. That's very cool. Um I I've got a I've got a few subscribers since then. So thank you all very much. I greatly appreciate the help. So but oh let's see what's this. Uh, Super K sent me the Hummingbird Plus. We'll be checking that out here in a little bit. That's one of the one of the knives on the docket for tonight. Uh, what were the tunes? Oh, it was a bunch of uh, late '60s, early '70s stuff. You know, CCR, the Hollies. Uh, it's quite a bit of CCR in that mix. But just some good tunes, you know. I listen to mostly 80s stuff, 80s hair metal. That's usually what I listen to. But every once in a while, you know, you got to mix it up a little bit. So, a little Kansas. Yeah, there was some Kansas in there. Hey, Crazy Knife Freak, what's up? Peter B. Awesome. So... Before we jump into the knives, guys, there's a few things I want to throw out there for tonight. Um, first thing, we kind of talked about it. Tomorrow is my two-year anniversary. So I kind of did the, I've, I've talked about it, the giveaway I'm going to do. So I'm at, going to, I'm going to go with my 3K giveaway live tomorrow on my two-year anniversary. thought that would be a good time to do it. So, hey, Mercury, what's up? So... Oh, yeah, I listen to a lot of Def Leppard, for sure. That's prime 80s hair stuff. Um, so keep your eyes open for that, guys. It'll come out sometime tomorrow. Topher, what's up? You made it. Awesome, brother. Thank you so much. You're awesome. Yes, and hashtag swipe right for Dylan. Definitely. That's right. I don't know, man. That, that stuff... After watching that IG thing, that stuff in front there is getting a little thin. So, whoo, uh oh, I got to be careful. It's getting a little thin on me, which is really surprising because that's not an issue in my family at all. And I'm noticing it a little more and more. So I'm like, oh, no. So, yes, ACDC, Motley Crue. Oh, yes. All that. Well, very good. Glad to hear that, Mercury. Uh, let's see what else do we have. We have... First off, shout out. Tim's here. I'm going to shout out to Tim. Mr. Tim Shanks. Hang on for a second, guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> You have got to be kidding me. What's up, man? Get in here. <laughs> What's up? Oh. All right, brother. Jeez. <laughs> so, guys, guess who just walked into my room? Why don't you just go ahead and say hi? What's up, everybody? Zach. Zach just walked into my house. I cannot believe this. <laughs> That's the surprise. Surprise! Wow! Holy cow! What's up, man? I'm not How are you? Good. Oh well, this is the setup. I like it's it, nothing, man. I like it. It's nothing. Uh, it was good. So, but now you can kind of see how I struggle and yeah. going back and forth. Yeah, and, you know, Heck yeah. this is it. But nice. Oh, hey, here's a chair. Have a, have a seat, buddy. Have a seat. <laughs> What's up, everybody? 
What's everybody saying? This this <laughs> just blew my mind, dude. <laughs> this totally blows me away. Well, here, I have something to put on the table. Uh-oh. Oh, God. What's he got? First and foremost. Holy smokes. What does he have? Everybody's saying hi to that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy smokes. Look at that one. Woohoo. Thank you. Yes. You just did a review on this guy. I did. Holy smokes. Dude, you got me all Twitter painted here. <laughs> The meat crafter. <laughs> Who was screaming? That was probably my wife. <laughs> Letting out her squeal. Oh, man. Check that meat crafter out. Holy smokes. Yeah, people. Everybody's like, because people are like, dude, you're not going live. What's going on? Oh. You know, I've been like radio silence. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. A review duet. Well. <laughs> that... No, I'm not stepping in on that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Please, with, no, by I, all means, this is awesome, man. Yeah, I'm so glad you made it. Well, I think it can go through just about anything it wants to. What is this? Uh, this is is it S S45? S45 VN. I have some treats for later. You have treats for the uh, giveaway. Oh man, Zach's got treats. Holy <laughs> smokes, man! Oh man. Holy cow, guys! I am like, <laughs> I, said, I, I said, I said, coconut mascara, yeah, didn't yeah, I? Yeah. Holy cow, man! Wow, this is crazy. Oh, oh yeah, they want to see you. It's not just him. What's up? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, wait, here, here. This will prove it. This will prove it. No, oh, there you oh. go. Yep, that means that definitely means Zach is here. Holy cow! This is not. <laughs> I cannot believe this. And you were talking to me too about yeah. Oh, I gotta work a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. oh my god, this is crazy. We were in town already. <laughs> you were? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You yeah. Oh my goodness. Holy cow. Zach confirmed. Yes, yeah. Zach is confirmed. Oh my goodness. Anyways, I'll get this out of here and let you get back. To oh no, no, not at all. Showing what people really came for is well, you and the knives. Wow. Well, have a seat. Oh, I'm good, man. Thank you, Christine. This is a complete. This completely blows me out of <laughs> out of the water, man. Holy cow! But okay. But I tell you what, I'm gonna talk about the stuff I was gonna talk about real quick. Um, I was gonna shout out to Tim. Tim's on here. Sorry, Tim. Zach got me all excited. He sent me a bunch of these O lights, man. He sent me these little i3 UVs. What else we got here? We got, oh, the i3 EOS, of course, one of my faves. And then the i1R EOS. So very cool. Thank you very much, Tim. That was awesome. We might see one of these later, hint, hint. <laughs> so there's always that. And then where's BJ? BJ, are you still here? You better be. Zach better be. Zach's here. BJ, where you at? Because... BJ just went over a thousand subscribers, man. That's pretty cool. Nice. So congrats to BJ going over 1K. That's a that's a pretty big milestone. I think that's one of. Oh, them. that's the biggest. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one that we all kind of I think just kind of look at and say, if, okay, if I can make it to a thousand, I'm good to go. So awesome! Congratulations, BJ. And one last thing, JD. JD oh, yeah. Shadow, Shadowborn yeah. Hanks. He's doing a 2K giveaway mm -hmm. on uh, Instagram. So, at Shadow underscore Born underscore Hanks. I didn't have his, no, I didn't have his link up here before. But make sure you check out Shadowborn Hanks on Instagram. You, did I show, oh, I showed it earlier. But mm -hmm. yeah. there will be, there'll definitely be something from Shadowborn in there. And we're going to talk about something from BJ tonight. So we're just kind of. You know, doing our thing. And if Pump people if people don't get in on the Shadowborn Hanks giveaway, they're gonna miss out on something I just sent to him. Oh, well, there you go. So Zach just sent him something as well. So very cool, very cool. So wow. All right, I gotta catch up here. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> Worst impressions on knife too. Oh yeah, there you go. 
Zach can. Well, I tell you what, Super K, I will give it to Zach right now. What are we looking at? That is the Hummingbird Plus. Ooh. Look at that red. From Reich. So take a look at it. Smooth. Oh, BJ, you didn't have to do that, man. Uh, we all help one another out, brother. That's just what we do. Any recommendations on an O light? Can't get it. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, o light. I like, I mean, for a little keychain light, I love the i3 EOS. i3 E EOS. I love those. Um, I love my S1R Baton 2. I carry that one with me all the time, pretty much at work. So, I mean, those are, that's my, uh, that's pretty much my go-to light. Yeah. So, yeah, nice. Oh, I'm good, man. Okay. I brought okay. some water. <laughs> all right. I have a beer up here. I didn't have a beer for a guest. Oh, I have some for you in my truck, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, speaking of which. We got a little Enter Night from Stone Brewing with tonight. It's their collaboration with Metallica. That is the beer of the show this evening. So we'll be drinking that. So we'll see. Sending some custom work to BJ right on. Oh, yeah. You got to get BJ in on your. He does some absolutely fantastic, fantastic mods on Knive. So. KB. <laughs> yeah, buddy. There you go. Whoa, KB. Holy smokes. Thanks, brother. Thank you, Zach. Holy cow. Man, guys. Lou's here. What's up, Lou? Oh, yeah. Lou's here. JD, oh. Dylan, Triple E, Super K. Oh, yeah. They're all here. Rusty. Rick. Hi, Rick. What What's would up, I Rick? recommend for a long throw light? Um, well, you know, to be perfectly honest with you, those little, the PT-18s and the PT-28s from Brynite aren't too bad. Um, those are the ones I probably have the most experience with, and they're pretty good lights. Pretty good lights overall. I mean, I really don't think you can go wrong with any O light. I just, no. I just don't think no, they do pretty good work. Yeah, I mean, O light is O light is O light. I think you'll whatever you decide, and you'll know, you'll be happy. I'm pretty sure. But I don't have a lot of experience with O lights, bigger stuff. Yeah, so, we're, we're your ex-pro is what JD's saying, and that's that's above and beyond. It's super crazy. So. There you go. So there was a good one, Warrior X, Warrior X Pro. Yep, JD. Hey, JD, we were just talking about you. Yes, we were. All right, so let's talk about knives. Let's talk about knives. Since we were talking about Super K's here, this is the Reich. Hummingbird Plus, and Super K was nice enough to send this to me and let me check it out. I love, of course, you know I love that. You know I love that. The red black kind of marbled carbon fiber. This gets smooth too. Oh, it's, a it's very, very smooth. smooth. The action nice. on it is super smooth. I mean, and Zach was over there. He was trying. <laughs> he was trying, but hang on, hang on. <laughs> Ah, there, you there go. it was. Nice. I finally got it. I finally got it. But yeah, really, really smooth knife. I will tell you, and I've talked to Super K about it. It had me a little perplexed, though. Had me just a little perplexed because I love, I love the scales. The scales look awesome, but the the solid red that threw me off just a little bit, and it's more of a feel thing than it is kind of aesthetically. Honestly, I don't know. And you know this is going to be like blasphemy coming out of me. Is it because of the red and gold? I think it's because of the red and gold. It's too yeah. much red. Yeah. I think so. I think if it was black, it would have been... What if it was like half spacer or barrel spacers? Barrel spacer, yeah. So you get a little bit of color over yep. but not a lot? Yep. Right. I think so. I think that that has to be it. But overall, man, it is. And, of course, the blade kind of reminds me Everybody's of. Everybody's like, too much red? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I said it was going to be blasphemy. I, you know, I know. I know. I'm sorry. But it in this case, you know, it just might be. Now, see, Super K said he was thinking of dirt coating the liners. Yeah. So if you, that would change the whole look of the knife. Oh, of course. Yeah. So the red would blend right in. Though. And he also talked about 
die in the backspace for black. Oh yeah. And I think I think that, that would tone it down just a bit. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, I know. I said too much red. I know. I, uh, where's Tojo? Tojo would be like, yeah, you're right. Too much red. <laughs> But no, it's. I tell you what. Overall, overall, it is a. It's a really sweet knife, Super K. I really like the action. I can spidey flick it. Definitely gets bonus points for that. Yeah. <laughs> so, but smooth action, and oh, what did uh, what did Nelly call that? Oh, filigree. Hmm. I don't know if the camera will allow. There it is. Yeah. But see, kind of the milling there. I like that. That looks good. Overall, it's a fantastic, fantastic looking knife. And I really, really appreciate Yes, John Blasphemy. Yes, I know. <laughs> yes, N690 steel. Sorry about that. I didn't say that, did I? N690 steel on it. But super knife overall. Full review coming up, as always. So, what did you... What's your... What was your just kind of first impression of it? I, I like it. It fits good in the hand. It's uh, I have a large glove size hand, of course, and it fills it up. You know, it's not too big. It's not too small. So it's kind of that perfect size. Smooth action on the flipper. I just can't spidey flick it yet. Finger flick it. Well, no okay. finger flick it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll let you have it over here in the whole show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. until, you get, <laughs> until it gets it open. But right on. Right on. Well, thank you very much again, Super K. I'm really, really... Really thank you very much for sending that to me and giving me the opportunity to check it out. So what are we going to talk about next? What do we think? What should we talk about? Well, BJ's here. Let's talk about this guy. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I haven't shown this one on SKL before, but it's a mini shark. And, of course, it's got BJ's uh, is amazing a good word. Is that, is that a cool, is that a good Amazing. word? Amazing, yeah. That's a good word. That, the patina he puts on this, oh my the goodness. The copper? This one is brass. Brass, okay, okay. Yep, it's brass with the full with the full blue. And remember how I said when I first got the brass, I didn't really, personally, I didn't think the brass and blue liners were like, but, man, him pulling out the blues and that patina. It <laughs> looks nice. Oh, yeah. It looks fantastic. And, of it's, course. It's nice in person, too. I mean, he did the awesome acid wash to the blade. Mm -hmm. He's got that, I don't know, dang near mirror finish. I can almost see the camera in there. Um, flame, he anode everything. Man, just awesome, brother. Fantastic, fantastic work. What am I see here? Everybody's saying that's sick. It's awesome work. Colors are the bomb. Oh, yeah. Well, Fantastic looking. Probably the nicest patina I've ever seen. So I'm going to put that out there. And I'm going to bring this one over. Because this is the first one he did for me. Now, this is the first one before you can kind of start to see the blues emerge. Just a little. The blues are just, just starting to come out in that. And then, obviously, you get, well, let's do this so I don't hurt myself. <laughs> I mean, just look at the evolution. Safety first. Yes. The evolution in the patinas are just crazy. I mean, it's awesome. Now, is that same scales on each one? Yes. Just different work on it? Nice. Yep. Nice. Yep. It's the same knife. It's the exact same knife. Just different, how, he, how he's yeah. made the patina come out in it. Stud fishing said, how did you get that finish? Well, there you go, BJ. That's for you. What's your what's your super secret? He may not tell. That's right. It may he be might found. not. He might, yeah. He might, there you go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, I mean, I, nobody questions Stoss at 23s. No. Like amazing no. lightning strikes. No. Stuff. You just send your stuff to yeah, him. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Do this, please. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, yeah. He did amazing work on those knives. Holy cow. He's done. He's done several. He's doing a bunch of videos on what he does. I don't think he's done one on his process as of yet. But 
You got a knife to share? I have, yeah, I have a lot. Do it, but share it. I only want to show. Go for it. Ammonia. Oh, you baby. So that's a new one. It's all you. This is a new, uh, of course, the uh, mini carbon fiber freak, the 565-1, red accents. That's a beautiful knife. Yeah, that's a very beautiful knife. Check that out. Yes, I do. I have. I also have one that I want to show you, but it can't go on camera. So oh, that'll be no. later. Oh <laughs> no. Whoo! Zach's the in inside guy. Well, yeah, buddy. Man, oh my goodness. Oh, that feels good. Anyways, it's a perfect size. So it is. I think the biggest comparison people were wanting to see was the uh, mini. Ooh. Hope Ritter. That was the that was the biggest one I got questions for. So. I did that as a second follow-up on my video. There you go. I love the blade finish on that Hogue. Mm -hmm. Holy cow. I don't... Man, I, that's a, it's straight stonewash, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. But I don't think I've seen a stonewash quite like that. Mm -hmm. Wow, that looks good. Holy smokes. So anyways, two great knives. Oh, way man. different prices, though. And that's the biggest thing people were saying. Well, yeah. I mean, you're looking at, you know, S90V, 20CV. 20CV on the Hogue, right? Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, you're what, 140 for the Mini Hogue? Yeah. Like 310 for the yeah. Mini mini Freak. But, yeah. You know, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, not, it's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Rodney's like, 940. 9400? <laughs> That's what everybody there, wondered. There might be something like that in here, but oh, I can't show no. you guys. Oh, no. Even if I did have it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Chad, that looks like a stock. I'm, yeah, I'm, that's what's getting me. Yeah, that's true. Is that stonewash. That stonewash finish on there is crazy. Look, it's nice. Really, really like that. I haven't seen one quite like that because it almost looks like it's got some darker spots in it mm -hmm. that just wow i like that i like that a lot yes that is correct he can neither confirm nor deny that <laughs> is the that is the standard military so that's what we're going to go with we yep. can neither confirm nor deny so let's see what do we talk about next well i'm going to give this one oh yeah to Zach, he can check this one out real quick. That's the one that JT gave me. Ooh. We kind of did a little trade. Nice. And well, then, I have the give a knife, take a knife right now. Oh, do you? That video will be posting up. All right. Yeah. Cool, cool. But I'm going to show this one off real quick. Yes, it is another Terminus XR. And yes, you guys know that this knife pretty much brought Sog out of the woodwork for me. <laughs> Jack. What did, he say? what did Jack say? So laugh if you have the 9400 auto. Zach's always laughing. He's a happy guy. Come on now. You know that. Yeah, Rodney's like, what happens here stays here. <laughs> oh, and if anything starts going wrong with the internet, I got Zach to we'll take go, out some we'll neighbors. We'll go fix the neighbors. Yeah, we'll go fix I, the neighbors. I talked to him on the way in. So oh, there you go. I was like, hey, we got a good show to do. You bought this one because of me? Well, you know what? I hope... It works out for you. I know some people have said that the ones they're getting have gritty have had gritty actions on them. Hmm. And after a good cleaning, they're fine. I'll tell you what, guys. And I got this one from Peter. Peter gave me this one, a therapeutic edge. And I don't know what he did to it, but I know when I got it, it was perfect. And the one that I got from uh, Knife Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the red one? It was... It was perfect as well. There was it was not gritty. I mean, it had. Yeah, a, here's here's my thing though. Honestly, I think, and this is just my personal experience. Anything that goes out associated with Doug Ritter or any of his knives or anything that he gives away, I swear he he gets them all sent to him and he goes through them first. He might. I mean, seriously, because I, I, when I talked to him at he might. at Shot Show and at Blade Show West a couple years ago, that was his biggest thing. He's like. I, he's like, I have him send me the whole batch. Cool. You know? Right. So. Right. Up. Hey, DCS, Carlos, what's up, buddy? DCS. <laughs> what's up, man? So. Missing those tacos down in Vegas, man. <laughs> those are so delicious. 
Um, Peter's here. Yeah, and you did nothing to it. It was that way out of the box. Okay, good. Well, that's good to know. Now, so, is that the S30V SOG? S- not the D2? No, it's not D2. It's S35VN. S35, okay. Yeah, S35VN. So what's up, Slicey? Hey, what's, what's up, Slicey? man? Oh, dude, thanks, man. So I just um, so I got the original one that came out with like two years ago. Okay, that one from Shot Show or not Shot Show Blade Show West, and I think it was in the D two. The knife rights one is the D two. Yep. Okay. That but one, was, but it was a carbon fiber one. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Because that okay. was the first model they came out with. Okay. And I, I was like everything but the pocket clip. I yeah. was On board with everything yeah. but the pocket clip. Yeah, the pocket clip is still. You know, you've still got the. You've still got the. Sog. Yeah, I mean, they want you to know what you're carrying. Yeah, so... They really want everybody else to know what you're carrying. <laughs> Both perfect out of... Okay, right on, Brian. Cool. So, yes, that is Zach you here. He surprised the holy hell out of me <laughs> by coming in here. So, holy smokes. I could not... I thought... I heard I heard the door, and I'm like... I thought maybe my son was home from work already. Oh, oh am I blocking him in? Or blocking the driveway? Are you parked in the driveway? <laughs> yeah. No, he parks up. Oh, okay. Don't worry about it. Do it. And if you are, it's all right. Okay, okay. He can find somewhere else to park. <laughs> it was raining. Zach's here. Bad. You can park somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know. It was raining like crazy today. Holy cow. But okay. So the next one we're going to talk about is the one that, is that, oh, I guess I better put the SOG up there. This little guy, JT, and I kind of did a little bit of a trade. It's a little CRKT slip joint, and its name is basically the LMD number five, Leon Ma Design number five. That's that what it is. It's so nice. It is a slip joint, right? It is a slip joint, and it's, it's yeah. And, you know, I was like, holy cow, that's a pretty cool little knife. Thumb roll it. This one, I guess I've tried to spidey flick it. I no, <laughs> no. I do like the uh, the. It's almost like the flipper, but it's basically just your your finger choil, so it's not going to close on you. No. So when you have it open, yes. you have your fingers in there. It's yep, not going right to come back on you because it's going to bump into your fingers. Yep. So I like that. Oh yeah, you've got you're you're well protected there. <laughs> Triple A EDC said it's a CRKT Medford. <laughs> well, Cauldron said that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cold Steel Gun Sight. I believe I have seen that one, but CRKT Medford, huh? right on. It, it is kind of a, it's a chunky little, mm-hmm. but it does fill the hand nicely. Solid. I like it. And 8CR14, G10. Yeah. Uh, deep carry clip. I like that. We, we like that. So, not a bad little knife. <laughs> Chad said, like a Medford with six to eight less washers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Rodney. How you doing? Man, all I see. Have I missed? I probably missed a whole bunch of people coming in here. Holy smokes. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's not a bad little knife. It's pretty cool. It's pretty darn cool. And it's sim- It's simple. But, you know, I think it's going to get the job done. It's going to be a fun little knife to carry. I know that. What model is that CRKT? So I see you want to know. It's called the LMD number five. And basically, LMD stands for Leon Ma Design. LMD number five. And what's the number on it? 6520 is the number on it. So yeah, hey Deuce, I don't think I've seen you so far tonight. How you doing, man? Modding a modding a Hinderer XM18. Ooh, what are you doing to it? Nice. <laughs> Marvel wants their acronym back. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, you out Ohio? All right, man. See you later, Nick. Have a good, good night, night, Ohio. Oh, wow. Man, I blazed through those knives. What else are we going to talk about? What else do you want to talk about? Man, we got plenty of knives to look at. Okay. Let's, Let's see. Show what some people some knives. Do. I, want, I, I wanted your opinion on this one. I brought that specifically to okay. your opinion on that one. All right. Uh, well. Oh. And, of course, that's just to show off. 
because uh, Rodney wanted to see that one again. Oh, Rodney wanted to see this one? Okay. No, I think he has that one. Thank you, Deuce, man. Thank you. Heat Anno and Bronzed Out. Nice, man. <laughs> uh, I bet that's going to look nice. I can't wait to see pictures of that. Oh, yes. The 20th anniversary. Very nice. Nice red you see that splash. One? No. That's the auto. No, I haven't. Oh, and Zach brought toys. <laughs> this is a nice one. Definitely. Definitely nice knife. Make sure to stick around, too, because Zach brought some giveaway items. Oh, yeah. We're, oh, we're going to have a heck of a good giveaway tonight, then. Yeah. Right on. I'm going to set that right there for Zach so everybody can look at it. We're going to you we have the mediator and lock. Lock? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah lock. lock on the side. Lock. There, there we go. Yeah. There it is. Ooh. Oh, that's a snappy little button. Yeah, huh? That's the mediator. Nice. So that's oh. what everybody thought was going to be the Auto 940, but it was just that little bit different design. Oh, it is just a, yeah, oh, yeah. A different blade shape. Let's pull this one back out. I know, yeah, you can definitely see the differences in them, but it's, it wants to be. But it's definitely it's a, its yeah. own knife. Yeah. Definitely its own knife. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you what the comparison between the Mediator and the ninety four hundred, the Auto nine forty, is mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah, we'll check that later. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> oh yeah, that is a snappy little knife. Holy yeah. cow! Nine forty's Auto cousin. Yeah, that's a good. I like the blade shape. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm I'm a nine forty blade shape, but I really dig that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. It's solid and it's snappy. I mean, if you can carry an auto, I mean, the Mediator is amazing. I would say also wait to check out the 9400. But you have to like, now this is the deal breaker for me. This is G10. The 9400 auto is going to be the aluminum frame right now, or aluminum scale. Oh, it is? Yeah. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to mirror the classic from 20 years ago. It just has a push button and a lock. I didn't. I I did not know it was going to be aluminum. Yeah. See, I thought it was going to be G10. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All righty. Thank you, Talbert, man. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome, man. Kicking in tonight. Heck yeah, Talbert. An right anthem. On. Did you bring an anthem with you? Oh, I did not. No, no. 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 I, I thought about bringing my big knife roll, but I'm like, all the places I had to go. Yeah. I'm like, man, somebody pops my window or something. Oh. Excellent. I am digging that for sure. Mediator is probably going to have to go on the list. So I'll and, say the Anthem. Have you tried out an Anthem? Uh, I should have brought one. No, you did you have one? You had yours? You have one of Blade Yeah, yeah. you probably checked it out. For yes, I'm sure I did there. I'm sure I saw it there. I'll say that the Anthem, though, is solid. And they have those bearings in there that, the, that it runs on. Yeah. So smooth. It's crazy. <laughs> so... For me, that's one of my favorites, but... Yes, I've checked the Anthem out. It would have had to have been there. Mm-hmm. Because right. that's the only... Yeah. Yeah, I haven't, like, borrowed one from anybody or anything, so... And then we have... Oh. It's a Tengu Flipper. Yeah. I am... So, I, I wanted your opinion because I thought it was going to be bigger. Oh. There we go. Yeah, it takes a little bit to get that. It takes some getting used to. Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit different than a normal flipper. That it definitely is. Holy cow. Yeah. But once you got it, uh -huh. you just got to get on top of it is all. You get on top of it, and it's fine. Okay. I mean, because I met Oser at uh, SHOT Show. He's a big dude. I mean, he's probably 6'3", 250. I mean, he's a big guy, so. It feels good. I like the way it feels. Mm-hmm. It's well. Let me, let me. I gotta see something here. I want to see, and I know you've probably shown this, but what's the? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's definitely smaller than the bug out. Yeah. Definitely smaller than the bug out. Without a doubt. The blade. I like the. You know me and Tantos. And it's got a. It's got but, a funky grind on it. It does. At first, I thought was seriously, and a lot of people thought the same thing. They thought it was gonna be like a. Uh, like, it was messed up, the grind. Yeah. We were like, oh, the grind's messed up on mine. That's how the, they, That's how he wanted it ground. 
So are you talking about yeah. how it's thin uh-huh. and then it widens yeah. out? Yeah. Yeah, That's I mean, how he wanted it. So I could see, you know, somebody just picking it up and going, "Wow, that grind looks funky." Mm-hmm. But I mean, it's it's definitely supposed to be that way because it's, I mean, it's pretty much perfect on both sides. So I do. Yeah, I'm. I like it. I like it. It feels good in hand. I'm not sure on the price, Christine. I'd have to look it up. I want to say it was in the low two hundred. I'm not at home, so I can't post links and all the fun stuff I usually do. <laughs> it's, well, I, thought, I thought somebody said... Oh, yeah. Yes, Justin. Zach is here. He surprised the holy crap out of me. <laughs> I heard people talking downstairs. I'm like, what is going on? Oh, thanks, Chad. Chad posts up the price. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Chad. 187? Justin's here. What's up, man? OCD for EDC. That was funny. And you know, it was really funny because I was asking if you were going to go live tomorrow, too. I am. Are you? Tomorrow night. Yeah, when I get home. Oh, cool. Yeah. Good deal. Yeah. Right on. That's why I was kind of putting it off. Gotcha. Well, I know you had talked of something about Thursday or Friday. And that was... Yeah. You just... Well, here's, here's what happened. Um, so, I was originally going to do because of the million view, like... Yeah. Yeah, awesomeness that I woke up to last weekend. Yes. I was like, man, Wednesday or Thursday, I'm going to do a, a giveaway. I'm going to post it up. But then something hit me, and it was an open weekend with no work. Nah. And I'm like, oh, it's road trip time. Nah. <laughs> and, then, and then I was like, okay, so I donated to Shadowborn Hanks, so go check out his giveaway. I think he's doing the drawing tomorrow. And I brought some giveaway stuff with me tonight. So... That fulfills my week of giveaways, so I'm going to post my million view giveaway next week. Cool. Yeah. Right on. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. Very cool. Well, dude, this is just this is just crazy. I'm so glad you did this. It came up, and this is fun. Heck yeah. It was awesome. So, uh, we haven't done it yet, but what's everybody carrying? What are you guys carrying tonight? Zach was apparently carrying quite a bit when he came up here. Yeah. <laughs> Try to bring a few. That's cool. What do you guys what do you guys got? I had I didn't have a whole lot on me today. Well, I I guess I was carrying the the hummingbird for most of the day. What do we got here? Doo, doo, doo. Yeah, that meat crafter is nice. I'll pull it out again. We'll take another look at it. So that's the so they they have a brand new machine that puts an awesome edge on knives. And it's it's basically it's trademarked as select edge, right? Right. That's okay. What this machine's called. Okay. Fourteen degrees. Fourteen super degrees. Super crazy sharp. Now that knife also has some flex to it. I know you showed it. So be careful. Don't cut yourself. But you could also probably do it on your table or something. But it's one of those things that. Oh yeah. It's got some sweet. Oh, flex. that's got some nice flex to it. Holy cow! I like the pop of color. Around the lanyard. Yeah, so you're going to probably, most likely, this will probably be the fanciest one that you ever see of the Meat Crafter. Okay. Um, there may be some stuff coming out later on in the year. Maybe during hunting, more hunting related. Okay. Uh, materials, stuff like that. I'm not sure. But I was told this is probably the fanciest one that we'll see. May I? Well, here's the deal. Here, there's a caveat to this. Okay. It's yours, so you do whatever you want with it. What? <laughs> so, my gift to you, the Meat Crafter, enjoy it. Are use you it, kidding me? Make some amazing meats with it. Holy crap, guys. So cut anything you want with it. Oh, man, dude. Thank you so much, man. Holy cow. I thought maybe you were going to say, you can cut anything but paper with it. I'm like, <laughs> okay, I won't. Yeah, no, no, no. You cut anything you want. Oh, my that. goodness. Holy. <laughs> think, yeah, so they're, they're super excited Holy. about that new Edge machine. So Holy crap. It takes a lot of it out of the. Wow. Paper. I mean, and you can do, this is a knife that you can pretty much, I mean, anything. Slicing, boning, totally. filleting. It's got enough flex in it that you could do a really nice yep. fillet with it as well. Holy smokes. So if you go to Meat Eater, their YouTube or their Instagram, 
he's the one, um, Stephen, he's the one that helped basically Benchmade design this okay. over the last 18 months. That's his, that's his yep, maker's that's mark. That's his right. eater logo. Come on. There we go. There's his um, logo right there. There's a really cool guy at Zach Stuff that has a review on this, but the link's in that description as well. But I, I tell you what, I'm super impressed with it, and I've used it a couple little times at my house, mine, but I haven't got into anything crazy. So my trip this week is going to be to my local butcher, and I'm going to be like, give me that and give me that, and I'm going to make a video, and we're going to do some slicing and dicing. So. Oh, wow. Holy smokes. Yeah, this is going to be what I think it was Carlos said it will kill yeah no, that's a that'll kill yeah, yeah. that'll do that you can oh, yeah. yeah it'll do more than kill yep holy cow well thank you so much man that is very very cool of you thank you so much he must have taken pity on me when i did the uh cormoran review and so again <laughs> we had i was using just the old cold steels mm. you know like the roach belly and stuff like <laughs> yeah, hey yeah. those are good little knives oh, man yeah. they do well yep they do pretty good, so it's all good. So, holy smokes. What else? You got anything else you want to show them? Or are you all? Let me see. I didn't have a whole lot. I can show It was them? kind of a slow week for knives here, but, you know. Show you this, but I can't show anybody else. Okay. But we'll look at that later. Okay. I'm sure I can dig something else. What yeah. are we going to look at? Does anybody have any questions? Yeah. Yeah. Heck, you got Zach here. Shoot some questions for sure. Hey, I'm going, Yeah. We'll start a list. We'll just do a. Everybody's like, "You coming to my house next?" Oh, yeah. bringing knives. Well, did we talked about that one night on here doing a road yeah. trip and like knives across America or something like that. I'm I'm down. Like seriously, if I don't care who sponsors it, if somebody sponsored a road trip and like we're like we're gonna do thirty days across America, right? And then we'll like fly home or whatever. But yeah. dude, I'm so down with that. Well, and then they could, and then whatever manufacturer which. You know, I could probably get Benchmade to sponsor a little bit of it, um, but that would be fun. I think that would be Not only just stopping by to see everybody and meet everybody, but then actually doing some shows with other people and stuff. <laughs> Jack, Bring come to Texas. Knives. Come to Texas. <laughs> M-Tech sponsor it. <laughs> <laughs> That's, oh, let's see. All right, bro. See you later, Mercury. Thanks for stopping by, brother. Always good to have you, man. Bring the 9400 to North Carolina. Yeah, yeah, so go on, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he'd, he'd buy me a plane ticket tomorrow, too. Hey, Alex, what's up, buddy? I'm sorry. If, if you're just getting, if you've been here a while, my apologies. I haven't seen you yet. How you doing? Hollywood Tactical, what's up? Oh, man, oh. Hollywood. We'll have to hook up with you, man. I go down to California quite a bit. Um, there's a cutlery shop downtown L.A. No. I think it's Ross. Ross Cullery? Man, I'm going to mess that one up now. I'm going to feel bad. But anyways, they're they're good buddies with uh, ProTech. Oh, okay. Family and friends and all that. And so we went, uh, we were talking with the ProTech people and then went up to, I think it was Ross Cullery downtown LA up there. That was awesome. Second one up on the left. Second one up on the left. This one? That was, that's okay, the one okay. I'm taking. Yeah. yeah. That's the, that's the Reich Hummingbird Plus. Not Rake. But Reich, R I K E. Reich. Oh, okay. Reich. <laughs> yep, that's the Hummingbird Plus. And this one was a loaner from Super K. Very generous. Loaned me to check it out. Really digging it. N690. Uh, love the carbon fiber. Talked about a couple of the things that I would, you know, like I said, and I know this, you weren't here, but I know maybe too much red. I know that sounds crazy, but. It, it, it that's what I said, <laughs> but let's uh, record that. Hold on a second. Wait, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 I got you on tape, yeah. man. No, too much red. There's too much red. I actually just won. Do you check? Was that in that bundle? No. Oh, that was not another one. Maybe. <laughs> oh man. Now it was so funny too. That big one that Lou did or whatever. I was like, and then of course it hits. And I'm like, man, I should have just gave you like. Half the money, and we just split it. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's that's the box right there. Just, if, but, hey, I'll just, word of wisdom, if you see Big Red jump in on a on a raffle, just withdraw. No. Or, or give him your spot. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just kidding. No, no. Yes, no, that was a good one. I played one earlier, was it today? It was for a Lynch. Oh, yeah? For one of the little prize. Yeah, yeah, did you get it? No. Oh. No, no. Which protect did you get? 
Lou, help me out. Which one was it? It was a small one. I cannot remember the number on it. I gotta. I have to get it and look at it. But it was. Justin oh. said I was asking. About oh yeah, Lou won that. The... Lou won the Lynch. Oh nice. Yeah, Lou right won on. that. He said he was asking about the one next to the the Titanium 940. Oh, so oh, 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 oh. This one. I like that one actually. Yeah, this is a little. It's a little CRKT slip joint, and it's called. It's a Leon Ma Design Number no. Five. It's actually called the LMD Number no. Five. That's what I found it listed as. I think it was Smoky Mountain or Blade, one of those. But yeah, it's a little slip joint. It's got a half stop. But it's a, it's just a awesome. What do you mean, Bunzo? Who am I talking to? Who is that? <laughs> Who does that sound like? Whoop, whoop. Yes, a total surprise. But yeah, it's just a little CRKT slip joint, and I, you know, I, I really like it. I like that. I'm gonna. Is it still available? Well, let's look. I'll have to buy one. Well, I don't want to choke out my internet. Yeah, no, 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 no. We'll look. We'll look later. I think it was though. I'm pretty sure it was. Seriously, you handed that to me, and I'm like, holy cow. You couldn't recognize the voice? Well, it might be my camera. It's a little different probably from his probably from his phone or whatever. Review around a campfire? Oh, I could definitely do that, without a doubt. Yeah, yeah. Campfire oh, reviews? Yeah. Oh, yep. dude. That's a summer idea. Jack. Down well, with it. Jack, you got to do that. I like That's, that. We can't steal your idea, man. You got to do that. Call it campfire review or something like that. That's mm -hmm. a heck of a good idea. I like that. Are we doing a YouTuber camp out? Well, Can you imagine that. That would be kind of cool. We'd have to have internet though. <laughs> we'd, have to have someone, no, we'd be like, who's got a this, hot spot? We had this who's great got... camp out. Nobody posts anything. <laughs> who's got the hot spot? Mm -hmm. I got a generator. I, I got a, nice. Yes, I got a generator. Oh, well, look at that. Oh, that's a list of what all was in there? Yeah. 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 That's awesome. Yeah, it was a fun little box. Thanks, Lou. Yes, thank you for putting that up there. Well, it sounds like we already got half a dozen invitations, so <laughs> I think it'd be pretty easy to do a 30-day. Mm -hmm. We just have to get it off of work. Oh, that would... <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, I think our summer just kind of opened up, so I don't know. Oh, nice. Yeah, we'll see. Who knows? But Sedona? Sedona has Wi-Fi. <laughs> there you go, Calder. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Right on. All right, let's take a look at one more knife. What can I throw? Oh, here we go. Let's do this one. Nice. This is, this just came in the last Smoky Mountain uh, care package. This is Aegis FL. Now, I know somebody said, oh, that's old Zog. Yeah, it is. But, you know, not too bad. Thumb stud, not too bad. I haven't looked into this one a whole lot yet. I actually just kind of took it out of the package earlier when I was here, up here. But yeah, it's a SOG Aegis FL. I mean, it's pretty much solid stainless. I believe it's 8CR13. Don't quote me on that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. But I'll have to look. And yeah, I. it's just... I could have had really bad luck with Sog. I don't know. It just I wasn't I I wasn't a big fan. I used to have a couple and that Terminus XR was good, but the clip. Yeah. But then they came out with the red one, they came out with the better blade steel, and I'm yep. like, okay. They're Fair trying. They're, they're trying try, they're trying to get the, the new stuff. I, I tried it out at Shaw Show. They just launched it. Yeah. Or whatever just now, but it's so so. They they took away some of that bill warning, so that's good. Oh, it's definitely got solid lockup. Yeah, this little bugger's got really really solid lockup. It's got a decent blade finish on it too. It's got a decent stone wash on it. I mean, not a bad knife overall, really. So, it's it's not the saw that I used to have. We'll just put it that way. <laughs> Triple E. What what's Triple E say? <laughs> well, you know, there's always that. But all right, what do we got? All right, we're almost in an hour, so let's. 
That sounds like well, we might. Yeah, we got some uh, giveaways. Stuff. It sounds like we might have a lot to give away. So let's so. just let's just get into it. So we'll clear off the table. No, I'm not going to leave that up there because I don't want anybody to think they're getting that. <laughs> so okay, so well, I will let Zach go first. What'd you bring him, Zach? These are always hard to ship. Okay. Yes, they are. So it's yours. <laughs> it goes with the knife. God. But. <laughs> he brought me a bench made. It's one of their new ones. So. Thank you. Thank you very much. These are my offerings to Saturday Knife Lives giveaway. Okay. And it comes with the cool. Uh, Soft bag too, but oh really? Okay, that's just a reusable like satchel. Well, you know what? Okay, I'm sure we can show it on here. Okay, yeah, it's a yeah, reusable yeah. satchel. So I tell you what, guys. Since I got all this, I got all the stuff I had. Yep. Zach's got all the stuff he had, so he said this was kind of like his giveaway for the week, and I have what I give away. So it's kind of like, it's kind of like a little super whamadine SKL. Second anniversary, second two year anniversary type thing going on here. So that's yeah. pretty cool. That's hey, pretty cool. You you got to make it special. Yes. You know. Yes. So nice. The Benchmade Age Maintenance Tool, collaboration with WorkSharp. Very nice. These are always come in handy. Carry them in your pocket, in your bag. Super de duper. That's what it looks like out of the package. Very cool. Little strop. Little sharpening rod, mini deep pocket carry, super compactable. Very cool. Very cool. Somebody said I could use that. Definitely. Yeah. We got a got some Benchmade swag. Very cool. We we know. Oh, we got more Benchmade swag. We know we like swag. Very cool. The bottle opener. It's, yes, you indeed. can't beat it, man. It's no. So awesome. No, we love the bottle opener. I mean, it's almost like a pry tool also. Holy... Dude. What's that? You, try it out. Have you held one yet? I had one. Yeah, yeah. I bought one yeah, when yeah. we were down there. That's right. Dude. Man, Zach's hooking you all up. Holy right. smokes. Zach's the man. You know what I forgot, though? What'd you forget? My stickers. <laughs> oh, I got stickers. Okay. I got stickers. Okay, all right, all right. I got stickers. I figured there might be one in the... Oh, yeah. There's definitely right. one in the swag bag. Check this out, guys. Zach is hooking you all up with a Stormtrooper mini bug uh, out. Yeah, heck yeah. Holy smokes. That is sweet. Holy cow. Right on. Woo -hoo -hoo. Here'd be a nice little Benchmade giveaway package. So. Holy smokes. Yeah. Guys, I don't know if I can top that, but I, I know... Well, we're not here to top. This I'm, is no, I'm, we're, we're adding on. Where, what did I do with it? <laughs> I don't know. Where, <laughs> what did I do with all my stuff? All right. Look around. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's under the it's paper. up here. It's under the okay. paper. All right. I said we were going to have some Shadowborn Hanks. Heck yeah. So we're definitely got a Shadowborn Hank to go in there. I love the Hank Dennis he started making. That's... That's my favorite, favorite material. I love it. Swag, yes. Yes, we have swag. We have lots of swag. Special one this week. We got a big old knife joker. Oh, nice. So that's kind of special one this week. And then, of course, the thick old swag bag. Damn designs. Throwing in a patch this that's week. That's so awesome, dude. Thanks for giving me that patch. Oh, yeah. I appreciate that. We got a... Got a patch in this week. Some more swag, thanks to LTK. Very cool. I'm covering up all the Benchmade stuff. We can't do that. Oh, you can cover up anything. No. They, they, they trust me, they know. <laughs> <laughs> Snaggletooth. These were awesome. They sent me like three or four of these to give away. Very cool of them to do that. Sent me a whole bunch of swag, too. Um, what do you think? Here you go. You pick. Just pick one. Pick one. <laughs> that one. That one? The top one. Top one? Yep. All right. Zach picked this one. So we're going to give an I3 UV EOS. We're going to throw one of those in there. This comes courtesy of our good friend Tim Shanks. Thank you very much, my friend, for sending these along to give away. 
Those work great, by the way, for glow in the dark stuff. Yes. Or yes, scorpions. they do. Or scorpions. <laughs> or scorpions. Or scorpions. Yeah. We're your damn design. We're going to do a poison, a blue poison. Oh, those are nice. Blue poison uh, bead tonight. And I have a knife as well to throw in. Heck yeah. Check out that. What do you think? What do you think? Ooh. Oh, man. That's nice, though. G10? Yeah. I like their logo, too. Yeah. I'm going to pivot. But we're going to throw in the Harn's Wind. Nice little knife. Real slim. Slim in the pocket. There's your blade steel. Yeah, come on. Focus. There you go. 14C28. We love that. You know we love that. Yeah, just in time for your birthday, Carlos. Exactly. It's a small knife, but it's a nice slender little knife. I mean, I can just get a wicked grip on this little guy. The jimping on it. Holy cow. I Harns is one of those brands that I just... They kind of fall back into the the shadows sometimes and that's right mark they have some really really nice little knives i've had a couple that were oh you know but most of them that i've had from them have been really really pretty good so that is an epic giveaway now that's a giveaway that's a that's, saturday night vlog that is celebration giveaway holy smoke Two i years. guess it is tell your friends to subscribe let's get this channel over three thousand Let's do it. Yes, Big sir. push. Big push. Tomorrow Big midnight. Push. <laughs> Before, tomorrow midnight. All right. Sounds good. So I have our code. There's our code. <laughs> Jack said, my grandma's getting on. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> There's our code. Okay. Okay. He sees the code. So we have the stop Hank at the ready. But as always, guys, you... Tell them how, what to do, though, first. Yep. You're going to be guessing a two-letter code. Any two letters, A, A, B, B, so on, but don't do it before the start comes on the screen. It has to do with one of the knives we checked out tonight. And here's a little hint. I did it before Zach was here. <laughs> so it's not one of the ones Zach showed us. So there's your little hint wow, for now. Wow, that's a big hint. It is a big hint. So... When the start comes up on the screen, y'all can start guessing. All I right? missed like the first five, ten minutes too. <laughs> so I was still driving. It was like pouring down rain. It was crazy. So just out of curiosity, have you guys been planning this all day? Have you talked to her about it? Uh, so Christine put there you go. Christine put me in touch with. I saw one on there. Did you? Mm-hmm. Right here. Right there. There it is. I see it now. Yep. I hold your guesses. Hold your guesses. One earlier, but I don't know. No. I think that was the first one. Yeah, that's the first one I saw. So hold your guesses, guys. We have a winner. So I don't have Facebook. So I reached out to Christine. I'm like, hey, I need some help. <laughs> oh, okay. So I, I got some super sleuth uh, communication. Very cool. And I, so I basically said, here's my plan. And somebody said, that's amazing. Let's do it. All right. Where's the stop signs? I can't get them. I will say you have some pretty cool uh, places up here. Like? And that Oregon doesn't have. Oh, really? Yeah. Down here at your little shopping center. Oh, okay. Oh, the, tra like, the trails right down there? The little beverages and stuff. <laughs> All <laughs> right. There's our stop signs. Thank you, guys. We had a winner. Zach and I saw the same one. And I see the first one out. Our code was HP. For the Hummingbird Plus from Reich Knives. And I see the winner as C. Lemansky. Are you... I see the same thing on mine. I have my own YouTube pulled up too, so... There you go. So, C. Lemansky, you are the winner, brother. Very cool. <laughs> Triple A. <laughs> see that? <laughs> Very cool. Awesome. Celebration victory. Yes. So, you, brother, you got yourself... One hell of a prize package. Oh, snap is right. So, 
you know what to do, brother. I know we've done this a couple of times, but <laughs> just shoot me an email, man, with everything, your address and stuff, bigrededc at gmail.com. It's, it's, trust me, it's easier It's easier on the both of us. We'll just put it that yeah, way. Yeah. So, but thanks a lot, guys. This has been... This has been a two-year anniversary to remember. That's I will awesome. tell you that yeah. much. I mean, Zach here, um, all you guys here celebrating, remember, keep your eyes open for tomorrow morning. My giveaway will go live. Oh, C. Lemansky, dude, thank you. Thank you, brother. <laughs> right on. You got a bug out, buddy. Holy sweet. That's awesome. Very cool. So... Thank you so much, guys. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys, talking to Zach, uh, with you guys. Uh, man, I'm just, this is crazy. <laughs> this is absolutely crazy, and it's crazy awesome. So thank you guys for showing up tonight. Next weekend, same bat time, same bat channel, 10 p.m. Pacific time. As always, it has been a pleasure, guys. You have an absolutely fantastic week. Oh, thank you, Justin. Thank you so much. You guys have an absolutely fantastic week. And I will see you right back here next Saturday night for another Saturday Night Live, guys. Zach, you want to say anything? I just want to say you guys are an awesome community. Uh, we love Big Red. We love all you guys. And, you know, take extra time this week to really do something kind for someone. And, and it goes a long way. So Couldn't have said it better myself. Exactly. All right, guys, I'm going to go chat with Zach for a while and see what special stuff he brought us to look at. You guys, take it easy. Love you all. Have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye.